how to connect your Amazon account with Printful. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can connect your Printful account with Amazon and sell your Printful merch on your own Amazon store. So without wasting any more of your time, let's just jump into it. So the first thing that I want you guys to do is you want to create your own Printful shop. And you can do that by just clicking on the sign up button at the top and then just simply signing up. Now, as you can see over here, I've already signed in and I'm good to go. So what I need to do now is I need to create my product. So I'm going to go ahead and create a product and show you how you can do the same. And then we can go ahead and connect our Printful account with our Amazon account. So let's Let's just go over here and go to dashboard real quick so when you sign in this is you're basically going to be over here on the dashboard and over here all you have to do is just simply you know do a couple of things like over here as you can see this is the list that i have to complete so sign up confirm your email create a product template connect your store and then just add your product to that store now i'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can create your product so come over here on the left side and over here at the top you will see you have product templates go ahead and click on that and over here as you can see i have a bunch of product templates ready to go so let me just show you real quick how i did that so let's just click on view and over here i just click on these three buttons over here and let's go click on edit product template so over here i'm in the design section over here so as you can see this is the shirt that i chose this is a men's long sleeve shirt and over here i just simply added this icon now you can go ahead and add an icon by just simply you know drop your design over here and remember guys this is an important tip always have your shirt its background a darker color basically a color that contracts your color of your design or your logo so as you guys already saw earlier i had a white skull over here and if i have a back background over here the logo will pop really really nicely so make sure you keep that as well so i'm gonna go ahead and choose that logo over here open up your desktop and find the location where you're keeping your logo and then just simply drag it over here and drop it over here wait for a couple of seconds for it to upload and adjust and once it's done that you can go ahead and resize your logo however you like it so i'm gonna go ahead and keep it over here yes i realize it no i don't want to so this looks pretty nice over here as you can see now you have a couple of different options when you come over to product you can choose the technique now what that basically means is the technique of your logo so you can have it embroidery or you can have a print so i'm gonna choose embroidery because it's a lot better so yes let's continue with embroidery and over here let's just choose a file as you can see these are going to be an embroidery file over here okay so we need to pick a font so let's just add a font let's just place this image over here so this is how it looks like over here Th this is going to be an embroidery picture and then what you can do is you can like you know add more stuff to it like over here once you've clicked on this one as you can see left chest over here we can go ahead and zoom in to see how it will look like so this is how it will look like zoom out and it's going to cost us at least 17 to 23 dollars for the embroidery taxes now if you go over here on product if you choose embroidery you can only do it once but if you chose print then you can you know add more stuff to it you can have more design so if we click on embroidery details we can choose the color and stuff like that we can transform it meaning we can rotate it you know vertically horizontally and then we have position we can position it manually if you don't want to drag and drop it so once you have your product ready just simply click on continue and click on save product template and once the product has been template as you can see this is how it looks like and that is basically it now the next thing that i want you guys to do is go back to your dashboard and over here as you can see once our product template is ready all we have to do now is just simply connect to a store now we want to connect to our amazon store so let's go ahead and create a amazon sellers account remember come over to sellercentral.amazon.com and just simply sign up now i've already signed up to this website i'm just going to go ahead and sign in and show you how it's basically done so once you've entered in your email address and your phone number and a password this is how it will look like and over here you will have to give out some basic details such as your id card information which i've already provided your address and then yes i want to can confirm my address is correct and then add your phone number and then simply click on next and once you've done that next step is the billing address and over here you will be charged a professional subscription of 39.99 us dollars for the first month you will continue we will be continued to be charged 
charge this fee for each month if you have an active listing if you do not have an active listing you will not be charged a subscription fee in that month if you expand to sell in other stores you will have to pay the equivalent of 39.499 usd per month split proportionately across each country or region in which you have an active listing and charge separately in each local currency you can downgrade at any time for more information you can downgrade at any time so what that basically means is that you will have to enter in a credit card and if you have an active listing you will have to pay 40 dollars no matter what it's basically a subscription fee now what that basically helps you do is that other sites online they take a cut from your you know earnings they basically take a percentage of shipping fees of you know material fees and stuff like that like other hidden charges and when it comes to amazon they don't ask you for that they only take a 39.99 every single month as a subscription fee and then everything else is completely off limits they won't take any money from you so once you have added in your credit card just simply click on next and we can move on to the third step which is called store and over here will basically be you know naming our store and telling us if you have universal codes i don't have universal codes are you sure are you the manufacturer or brand owner for any of the products you want to sell no i am not click on next and after that you will need to provide the correct information so what that basically means is that you will have to provide a documentations of your stuff so over here all you have to do is enter in your name your date of birth the country in which you were born the citizenship identity card number and identity documentation and stuff like that you will basically have to enter in your national id card you will basically have to give out identity documentation then enter in your business address and then additional documents such as a bank statement and stuff like that so you can get those stuff and you can upload them and then you can just simply submit after that it'll take them a couple of days and once they have verified them your store will be set up and then you can go ahead and you know connect your account to your printful account and how you do that is by coming over here on the left side and clicking on the stores button now once you're over here all you have to do is scroll down and just simply choose a platform and once you're over here find the platform amazon so over here we have amazon is over here simply click on connect amazon and over here you can watch this video as well but you don't need to because you're watching this video and over here all you have to do is you have to be request a gtin number exception this process lets amazon know that you are a brand with unique product that you don't have a gti number global trading item number and then you have to have a registered trademark brand so basically you have to have a trademark and then if you have those things you can just go ahead and check these boxes and add in your amazon seller name and then step number three all you have to do is choose the region you want to sell on basically a country or a region where you want to sell and then step number four fill out and submit amazon's brand support letter and then finally add your items and then your account will be synced now unfortunately i can't connect my identification documents basically i tried that and it failed i don't know what they meant by that i tried it again and they it didn't verify i don't think they are accepting my documents but you get the general idea what i'm talking about right so and the same thing goes for other stores as well for example if you want to connect to other platforms uh, just simply create your account onto that platform for example if you want to you know sell on wix we've done a video about it in the past you can go ahead and check it out on the channel as well and if you want to sell on ebay go ahead and make an ebay account and store and then you can just simply connect printful by clicking on the connect button and your store will be connected to ebay and then you can sell your printful items onto ebay as well like it's pretty easy same goes for webly same goes for big cartel square webflow and all the other stores that they you know support so that is it for this video guys if you guys enjoyed this video be sure you hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notification and having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye